Hi, and welcome to Crafts by Two. I'm Ken. And I'm George. What? Um, so, in this episode, we're going to show you a quick tip on how to get rid of blobs. Did you just call me a slob? Blobs. My god, you're a monster. I can't see. So here on screen, I have an example of the blob SVG file. I've imported it into Cricut Design Space, and you can see it's got these thick black outlines over in the preview. None of these shapes really match what it should be, and you can't really resize it. You can drag it around, but the resizing are way off to the sides, and you really just can't work with this. And if you tried to cut it, you're going to see that it's going to do weird blobby shapes also. I'm going to go over to Inkscape now and show you the really quick steps to import it and save it and fix the problem. Here we are in Inkscape, and this is a new document. If you're not in a new blank document, you want to go to File, New, and Default. You always want to make sure you're working with a new document. These are really quick steps, but I'll go slow. Under the file menu, you're going to choose import. You don't want to just open it. Import is the key thing to getting this to work. I've already got my SVG set up in my browser dialog, so I didn't have to browse around, but you can browse on your computer and find the file you're going to work with. So I'll open it. And because this was an SVG file, it didn't ask me if I wanted to link it or embed it. It just brought it right in. And I moved it around a little, but you really don't have to do that. You can just leave your image exactly where it is. And then you're going to go back to File and choose Save As. Make sure you're saving it where you can find it. I'm going to put it on my desktop. And I'm just going to say bunny fixed. And here, where you can choose what type of file, you'll want to choose a plain SVG file. And then click Save. The fixed file's been saved to our desktop. I'm going to hop back in, no pun intended, <laughs> to the Cricut Design Space. I'm going to go to Upload Image. Vector Upload, and Browse to open my fixed file. There it is. I'm going to leave it at Bunny Fixed and click Save. And you'll notice in the previews, the blob image and the fixed image both look fine. It's just when you import it into the canvas that it's got that blob look. So this is my fixed image. I'm going to import this one, Insert, and there we go all clean. I can ungroup this. I can resize. I can work with it however I want in design space. And if I delete this one, clicking go to cut it, you can see all the mats are set up to cut just fine. And that was just a really quick tip on how you can use Inkscape for free. I feel a lot cooler now, and I can see things a lot better. And you don't look like such a blob. Are you calling me a slob? So until next Tuesday, or probably sooner, we'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Was that supposed to be like Michael Caruso? Wow! Oh. Wow! I could do it though. <laughs>